undiluted, unadulterated. It's probably replicated, but still not yet duplicated. It sports only on a Liberty TV radio. I seriously love listening to it. Hello, everybody. What's up, people? My name is Jimmy Dakolo, and you're listening to a Liberty TV radio. Stay tuned. A Liberty TV radio. Redefining broadcasting. Listen. You are listening to a Liberty TV radio. A Liberty TV radio. We dare to lead. This is radio like you never heard before. A Liberty TV radio. The Pathfinder for radio. Yeah, sometimes uh, the things that we see in life, uh, the sins are not making sense and the bills are billing and everything looks very, 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 very complicated as the maths are not matting, the signs are not signing properly, just like that. And that's what life is. Life does not always offer to you what you desire. Somebody once said that if you ask for a chair, you're giving a wood. It is up to you to not make a chair, make book, make table, and make a lot out of it. Yes, that's progressive uh, reward, but you have to put in the hard work. So this morning, I say good morning and welcome to the Sports Buffet on the Liberty TV radio. My name is Daffy Matthews. So you love to call me the Liberty One of Sports. How was your weekend? How did your team play? What's happening? This is Monday morning for some people, and in some other places, some people are sleeping. Some people are way, way into the evening and down under Australia, but somewhere in the Western Hemisphere, somewhere in the US, they are still just coming off the Sunday night. So it's different times for different people. And let's not forget that this radio uh, goes across all over the globe. You can listen by downloading the mobile application. Just search for a Liberty TV radio on your mobile application, iOS or Android. You can also listen on the website, www.elibertatv.com. And if you want to read a lot of stories about Nigerian players' performance across the globe, um, you, you know, the Nigerian League, you're interested in what's going on in Nigerian League, that's where you should be as well. But then you can also follow the live stream on Instagram and on the YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please look uh, for Elibertat TV Sports and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Our growth would make us do a whole lot of things. I got a message from someone... I'm going to read it later. And it's a suggestion that is a good, but I don't know how people will react to it. I'm always very careful when money is involved in anything. I'm always very, very careful, especially other people's money. But, I mean, I'm, ob I'm obligated to. I'm obliged to read it. I'll read it to you guys. Michael Alet, I see you. And everybody coming in on Instagram. Saviki Malalu, I see you. Uh, Fashaki, uh, Daniel, I see you. Uh, Jubilee, I see you. An amazing Christian, I see you. Michael Uchesin, as well, I see you. But at this morning, uh, we're going to recap all of the games that went down uh, over the weekend from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and touch some key games and then go back. But then, uh, Liverpool fans will say they've waited for so long and it seems like uh, it's come. The chicken has come on not to roost, but this time come on to prosper as Darwin Nunes. Uh, did a Michael Owen on Newcastle, or probably let's say he did a Stan Collymore. Yeah, if you're an old Liverpool fan, you would understand. But if you're not, well, 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 you would understand what I mean by did a Stan Collymore. But you can go search when Stan Collymore scored against Newcastle at time side. You would understand what that is. And Michael Owen scoring a hat trick at time side at work, if my memory serves me right. Well, all of that. Uh, it's always something. There seems to be something that Liverpool have over Newcastle because one man down, one goal up, and still losing by two goals to one, it's strange to discuss. Mikel Arteta had a great season last season with Arsenal. Even when they lost the title, everybody still loved him. But the man, I don't know whether his head is turned. Sometimes I'm forced to think he's trying to destroy the team so that they can get either fired or probably the. it will be easy when, uh, you know, uh, 
Real Madrid decide to let Carlo Ancelotti go because at the end of the season, he's going to go join the Brazilian national team. And he's already, maybe Ateta is already planning to go take over the Real Madrid job with that force from Arsenal. So he's trying to destroy the good work that he has started. Or probably he's overwhelmed by the players that he's had and now he is confused. Because to me, last season, you could tell, of all the teams that are playing in Europe today, we all know the system they play. Asna is the only one that not even any analyst can tell you what's the system they play at all. You make a team uh, that is good better, but uh, this man has made decided to make a team that is good worse. I don't understand what he's doing, but if you do, please tell me. Uh, uh, I mean, tell me what you think. Uh, I don't know what it means, but if you if you know what Ateta is doing, tell me what you think in your own opinion what Ateta is doing to Asna in the comment section. Now, having said that, let's talk about Manchester United. Once again, the side, you know, it's the the hand of Esau, but the voice of Jacob. You know, that's me, that's me, that's that penalty. Is that a penalty? Is that really a penalty? And some people say that Vitor van Dijk, uh, that wasn't a red card. By my books, it's a red card one million times and a 10 match man. Come on. That's a military parking. I don't know if you grew up in the kind of hood that I grew up, but back in the day, you know, somebody would do something and he's trying to run. Somebody just give him that parking that will put him down. And I think that's what Vidi Van Dijk did. He got it very, very wrong. And some people try to say he got the ball first. Well, like Henry Murray will say, he wished today was Tuesday so that we'll get to Manuel Sebastian. Yeah, Manuel Sebastian, don't think you've dodged the bullet. Tomorrow, I keep the bullet for you. The bullet is here. I keep it for you. It's going to hit you and hit you really good. But again, I mean, the man is about to I come to the studio tomorrow feeling majestic and feeling wild. You know what? Liverpool won eventually. So he will laugh last. They say laugh best. Well, Victor Sime might be complaining that he's not getting the kind of passes that he's getting last season. But three goals in two games, who cares whether the passes are good or the passes are not good? Well, they've also allowed him now to start playing penalties. So that's an advantage for him as well because he scored. And, um, and then they, they, they won the game to go to nothing. But I thought against Sassuolo, they played for Sinani, I played Sassuolo. I thought, maybe my opinions are wrong, I thought that's a game that they could have scored quite a lot more goals. But hey, one penalty missed and two goals scored. If you don't concede, it's fine by anybody. Arikane is repaying the big money invested in him already. It was on the double or his own debut for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich were playing at home and wearing white. Well, 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 it's football. These things happen when the opposition have uh, that red as their away kit. But in that way, who cares about the color of the jersey when the win is what is most important? And somewhere in uh, Turin, Juventus have really not gotten off the skin of last season as it drew again. And you're wondering what's really going on here. Still very, very tough. Well, uh, some people, some analysts are already saying Newcastle will not make the top four off the back of this defeat to Manchester, uh, to Liverpool. Now, uh, as much as I want to agree to it, and as my brother will call them, still old castle, nothing new about them. Well, I just think, I mean, people not getting over themselves already predicting doom for Newcastle. Yes, I, I know I predicted them, but I predicted them not making it off for not on the back of this result. This is from the fourth season started. I just said that I don't think they have what it takes to manage the league title, the league race, and the Champions League, and that might just be a problem. Um, Gordon scored a good goal. Some people say Trent Alexander should have gotten a red card. I think that when you stand on that side of the divide, you are practically also taking uh, for granted the far on Trent Alexander that led to him throwing that ball away. And I don't think that ball that he threw away was enough for him to get a, uh, a yellow card anyway. But let's move away from that one. Let's come to Manchester United. Manchester United winning from going two goals down to winning 3-2. Now, that's not a strange thing. That's If you follow Manchester United in the last 20, 30 years, you know that that's traditional Fergie Manchester United. But, you know, when you also look at it from the other side, uh, what's that thing? Uh, when you look at it from the financial angle, as uh, somebody used to say, worry back in the day, when you look at it critically and critically, you will not realize that some of the elements of the Fergie days uh, showed up in that game. I don't think, in my opinion, that was a penalty. Not because uh, a tower winning plays for Newcastle and not Nottingham Forest. That's not my business. What is my business is the fact that I've seen many of that not even given as a foul 
any time. But why is that a penalty for Manchester United? I really want to know. Well, uh, the Premier League, like I've always said, is a league that is uh, filled with match fixing and it is predetermined who will win and who will lose. Yeah, there are a few exciting games that always happen in the course of the season. But in my own position, I will say this without an apology. I'm unapologetic about it. The Premier League is a fixed league. It's pre uh, determine who will win it and who will lose it. So uh, you might not agree with me. You might dislike me for that. That's your own opinion. But let's go to all the stories that we've got. Uh, Max Verstappen, you know, really, really is driving like uh, some demons are possessed him. Uh, probably is uh, auditioning for Fast and the Furious in the future. That man can drive. He really, really can drive. Let's forget about anything that anybody is going to say. The people, I mean, team Lewis Hamilton. I've got love, mad love for Lewis Hamilton. But let's give this Dutchman the credit I deserve. He can drive. Can navigate his way through hard, hard surface, soft surface, raining, wet surface. Not wet in the way your, your mind is going anyway. But all of that, he can drive. Soft tires, small tires, you know, grip tires. He can really, really drive. He comes on and he says to everybody, catch me if you can and I just love the way he drove, drove his car in the uh, the, the Dutch Grand, the Grand Prix. It was incredible. 77, yes, matching up uh, some other greats that have done it as well. I, I, I think I've got mad respect for him. I know that the other time, you know, the way he won the season, didn't go down with me two seasons ago, but Lewis Hamilton would also admit that, man, this guy can drive. I don't know if Lewis Hamilton will be stuck in number eight, uh, number seven, and not go to number eight, but Max Verstappen is the new sheriff in time. You don't have to like him. So I agree. I'm talking about like, please, if you're viewing on YouTube, just click on the like button. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't take extra data. Just click on the like button. And the question of the day is, what are some of those things people do in the workplace that you don't think should be done at work? Just as we discuss all the major football talking points, let's fix the office habit as well okay so what are some of those things people do you can say anything that happened in your workplace without mentioning the names of people so that you don't get into trouble but just say some things and sometimes it could be staff sometimes it could be clients people who come to the office and okay so let me, let me give you a very good example I, I have some people come to my office and they will pull their shoe at the at the door and come inside like this is not a celestial church come on where your shoe are coming that's one again talking about wearing shoe in some people will come in, they don't drive, means that they walked on the road and the road is sandy and muddy. They will not even clean their leg, like dust their leg as they are entering the premises from the ground floor and then climb upstairs, they will bring all those debts into the office. Come on, what's wrong with you people? Even if we are, even if this office, let's even assume that this office is a normal office. The first thing we carry the team into the auction room and our uh -uh. And then those people who like to come around the body of the police, don't be funny that you don't know that your body is small. Because one of the things that I've, you know, tried to understand, have you ever worn a clothes that did not dry properly? You know that smell that comes from a cloth that does not dry properly? Once you wear it, you perceive it, you know. You have to go and take it off and put it in the washing the clothes that you want to wash. So that's how your body order is. You know, your body order is not right. You know that your body order is not right. Don't be going around in the office. Stay where you did. Don't be coming and trying to hug people in the office. When you have body odor, I want to be doing fresh kiss. I don't understand. You have body odor, you have mat odor, you want to do fresh kiss. Stop it. So, for you guys, uh, drop down some comments about what happened. Then again, in the Nigerian same calf competition, was going on. Inba went away, lost for three, and everybody was confident. I this country goes away, they would uh, win uh, at home. Well, it ended 0 0. Inba could not. Yeah, wrestle the chestnut under the fire. Even though the fire was not really that hot, because the the, the, the fire was uh, was a controlled fire. But guess what? They couldn't do anything. The worst one was Remostat. Yes, they lost to uh, Medame, one goal to nothing in Ghana, and the expectation was that they will come back home and get the job done. What do I mean by getting the job done? Win by two goals or so, and everything is fine. Home of the sports life, thank you for joining on Instagram, and everything will be fine. But guess what? Remo Stars, ah, shit. I was banking on them. I trusted them. I believed in them. I was hoping 
against all of who that Red Monsters would do it. Come on, come on, come on, do it for where yeah, they don't do nothing. Red Monsters did not do nothing. Nada. Red Monsters went in there, won the game by go to nil. And the next thing they did was going to penalty. Scott first, uh, Madame is, you know, it was looking like, okay, this is going to be easy for them. Then when Red Monsters went on to, to lose three straight penalties, come on. But let's put the Pashuna. I think that those those players are acting a bit over pumped. I don't know. I wasn't at the game and it wasn't, I didn't I didn't watch it. But come on, penalties, three straight penalties. You lose one. And this Medame people were not so sorry. They lost two penalties in the course of the game. You should at least do something. But then they did not. And uh, that's how the cookies crumble, as uh, we like to we always like to say. And so they didn't win uh, against the Ghanaian side. It was very sad anyway. But playing by Open earlier against uh, Ali Benghazi or whatever they call Oh God, Eimba. Eimba. There was once upon a time when Eimba was the people's elephant. And it's right now, it's like they're the people's pussycat. Ah, they are the people's olobo. They're not really, they're not elephants. The elephant is not elephant at all. It's like this elephant has elephantiasis. Uh, there is nothing elephant about it. There's nothing giant about it because after going away to play and get beaten 3 1, and everybody's hope was rising high. You know, everybody was, you know, feeling like, oh, this Libya, uh, Al Ali Benghazi of Libya will not be able to get something alive. Eiba. Eiba showed the world that uh, this elephant is not elephant at all. If there's anything, elephant is at the heart. That's the same way uh, Rebel Stars of Nigeria uh, lost to the Dami of Ghana. It is, uh, they're not rebel. The stars are not stars starring at all. They're not just starring at all. And it was very painful for me. It was painful because I was banking on them. I was hoping uh, they would get something out of this. So now we now have uh, Rivers United, who was drawn by from the first round in the calf of the just Cup. And uh, what's the other thing that we have in, in, in that order as well? And we want to represent us at this hope. Let's hope against all hopes. And then the chance. Yes, they, they went away. They played the first thing that we I won one year, the wet way, lost one year, but then the one on penalty. So, the same way that Dami came here and won against uh, Ramos Stars on penalty, uh, Penelope Jarrett went away and won. Let's just hope that we improve. Penelope Jarrett have this thing about them of not scoring loads of goals. Uh, in competition, like this, you need loads of goals. And you cannot just depend on only uh, the black bullets. Uh, talking about Imadi or Sarah Hall, they should uh, try as much as possible to jig the team up and get them going. Don't forget this. Uh, tomorrow is the AGM of the. Um, uh, the MPFL or the MPL, the MPL is tomorrow. The draws as well will be done in Abuja. All released to Abuja. Some of them are already in Abuja. Some of them will be going today, and some of them will be flying first flight tomorrow morning to be there. Uh, I think I've seen Rangers International Football Club of Enugu. I think uh, there is a revolution going there. The guys are back again into that type of uh, mode that they were in 2015, 2016, and they're winning the big time, so I'm going on to win. And then the same man who was in charge at the time, yes, I'm all the Ijaku, who's also gone on to learn a few more things as uh, he's gone to do his FIFA, FIFA Masters, we're seeing the revolution going on. We have a website now, you can go on to the Rangers International website, it is Rangers, as in Rangers, I-N-T-L dot com. Yes. That's the, the website. Uh, that's going to be difficult for a lot of people to to reach to, but you've got to uh, go there and see if uh, you there is something you like there. Rangers International uh, it's, uh, club, the football club in the NPFL, the Abyss in Enugu. So you can go check them out and see what's there. I like uh, the pictures seen from there. I think uh, if they can get proper funding, they can get proper support. Like we expected, you would see. Uh, the landing page says to you, Welcome to Rangers International FC of Enugu, established 1970, with a red button that says, Get in touch. Okay, there is a whole lot here. You can actually, uh, the, 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 the website also provides you with an opportunity for uh, probably buying of uh, their jerseys, if possible. Uh, Rangers, I've been wanting to buy Rangers jersey for a while now, so it's something that is possible. And the website is so open for you. Uh, they say they have more than 250 wins in all categories, and then there are open, 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 open space for sponsors, clubhouse, membership, 
and all that and you just have email address and phone numbers to send your your whatever to and if you want to come to the clubhouse the direction to the clubhouse at liberty estate in enugu is there as well i've been there that's where we did the interview with uh uche john the captain who's now gone on to i think rivers united or Iba. uh also the one with um uh, uh, Abdul Maikaba, those of you who watch the Maikaba content over the weekend, you would, uh, on fr Friday to be exact, uh, you would uh, see how beautiful the environment is. Uh, it's, I think Rangers have the best camp alongside. I've not been to Remo, I've not been to Remo, but I hear positive and very good stories about it. It's just back here, it's just behind, you know, go out there, go out back here. But I've not been there. I would eventually, I think this season. If we sign up the deals that we're signing up, I would definitely go there and uh, go see what they're doing. So for Rangers International, if you're a fan of Rangers, you can uh, go uh, sign up and be a member. Membership is what will drive Nigeria football. Don't be on Twitter telling the whole world that Nigeria football is not good and you're not playing your part. So if you're a fan of Enugu Rangers, I think it will be good for you to go sign up uh, on your membership so that those numbers would uh, help them because it is a numbers game today. You go out there and look for sponsors. Sponsors will tell you how many people are connected to your brand, uh, who are the people that are uh, connected to your brand, and then that's where the money starts from. If you don't have that numbers on ground, nobody wants to listen to you. So if you want to help Enugu Rangers and you feel like you're a fan of Enugu Rangers, go to that website, rangersinternational.com, R-O-A-N-G-E-R-S-I-N-T-L.com. Go there. And uh, fill the form, be a member, and also preach to other Rangers fans to come and fill that form and be a member. It's for free. You don't pay money. You can buy your jersey from, from that, and then uh, they will deliver it to you wherever you are, and you know communicate with other fans and a whole lot. It would to work. But let's talk about uh, some of the stories that we have on ground as well as the transfer rumors, and then uh, don't forget drop a comment about some odd habits that people exhibit in the workplace that you don't like, that are not good, not just because of you, but generally not good, that if they can cut it off, it will help uh, pr productivity in the workplace and it will foster a good, a cordial, mutually beneficial relationship uh, in the workplace. So you can drop them in the comment section as you are viewing and why would also drop, you can drop any other talking point you want to bring out from, um, what's it called, from uh, the football uh, headlines that came up over the weekend. So Young Club, Young Club said, Liverpool's comeback win with 10 men at Newcastle was one of the best victories he's ever had as a manager and the dramatic game was unlike any other his experience. In two decades of coaching, Darwin Nunes scored two late goals off the bench in a smash and grab win for Liverpool who had captain Virgil van Dijk sent off for a last man tackle on Alexander Isak in the first half and went a goal down after uh, former Everton player Anthony Gordon scored. And uh, let's not forget that this guy, this Anthony Gordon, was cut off by Liverpool at the age of 11. That wasn't good enough. So there was a bit of vengeance, like, okay, I will show them what uh, I am made of. And when he got that opportunity, whether it's a true pass from, uh, whether I'll call it a true pass from uh, Musala or I'll call it a mistake from Trent Arnold, whatever it was, it was well assisted by Liverpool and the buried the ball. You would have thought that Newcastle, the Newcastle you know, would do well. Uh, Tonelli was uh, shackled. Isaac was shackled after they give him that Navy packing uh, by Virgil van Dijk. He wasn't himself again. And when even the substitutes came on, they had their chance. Quite all right, they had their chances, but it just didn't work. And the uh, club, uh, who spent most of the match visibly furious at refereeing decisions, said this was perhaps his best win as a manager. As if that was the case, he said, definitely it was more difficult than the Barcelona game in which Liverpool overturned a 3-0 deficit, uh, first leg deficit to win that game and move on to go on to the Champions League. When Gary Neville has told Mikel Arteta to stop experimenting with his Arsenal team and return to basics ahead of uh, Sunday's clash with uh, Manchester United, the Gunners won their two opening games of the Premier League season against Nottingham Forest and Crystal Palace, but came on stock in Saturday's 2-2 draw with Fulham. A late Chapalino leveler and 10-man Fulham at an expected point at the Emirates after it appeared Bukayo Saka's penalty um, and Eddie Nketiah's goal in quick succession at Arsenal on course for victory. Well, things are not always like that. 
Manchester United are discussing short potential loan swap deal with Bayern Munich, which could see Scott McTominay trade places with Liverpool target Ryan Gravenberg. My question is, what does Bayern Munich need Scott McTominay for? Let's be very, very honest. Okay, that arrangement, according to Bill journalist Christian Farr, could see Red Devils academy graduate Scott McTominay move in the opposite direction. Who really wants Scott McTominay to go play in Bayern? Well, Bayern also like young players, so it's a possibility. Well, I also hope to be in Germany in October, hopefully. Uh, we would uh, see. By that time, all of those moves would have happened. We would see what happened. Well, Chris Sutton, one of the... Uh, I don't know if you remember the, the, the first ever SAS partnership. SAS. S and S. Okay, it was Shera and Sutton partnership that brought uh, the Premier League in 1995 to Blackburn Rovers. I'm not sure some of you remember that, but those of you who remember, uh, one member of the SAS partnership, Chris Sutton, has claimed referees are in Manchester United's pocket after they win another dubious penalty at Old Trafford. But Mike Dean insists that's a big myth and Marcus Rashford did not die. Well, whatever anybody says, I want to know what you guys think. I think that referees have been in Manchester United's pocket since forever. I think this is my conviction that 13 titles that Silas Ferguson won, nine of those titles were given to him by referees. If you take away referees' decisions, maybe of those 13 titles, he would have won only four. But nine, that season that Newcastle lost the title was referees. That season that Rafael Benitez lost the title, it was referees. There's so many times. Four times that St. Venga didn't win the title, it was referees making it happen. Manchester United are involved in fixing matches. I don't care why any Man United fan want to think about me, why well, somebody block me, walk away from me. I don't, I don't, I don't care. But the evidence in front of me, the ones that my eyes and my brain have, is this is not me being biased or sentimental. Manchester United have been fixing matches forever, and I'm not going to go back on that. People who play in the Premier League have not come out to say. Manchester United completed a stunning turnaround against Nottingham Forest on Sunday with the Red Devils fighting back from two goals down to win three goals to two. To the new trust, that was a very beautiful football match. But hey, Manchester, anything that has Manchester United on it is like telling me that Nigerian politicians are not corrupt, that they are good people. Hey, Nigerian politicians are not corrupt. <laughs> I miss even devil go make everyone know. Fulham advanced in their pursuit of Leicester fullback Timothy Kastani as boss Marco Silva looks to add to his squad before Friday's deadline. The 27-year-old uh, can play across the back line and has experience, you know, playing at both right and left back as well as a wing back on both sides. The contingent still the Belgian defender as an ideal fit. You know, when Duran Timba got injured, somebody asked me who should Arsenal go for. I said they should go for this player, but hey, maybe... I was wrong. Timothy Kanstani was my first pick because he knows the Premier League. He understands the environment. But hey, what am I? It seems like uh, this man, Ateta, have issues with Belgium. I also thought that uh, the Leicester midfielder, uh, not Madison, the other one, I've forgotten his name, the Belgian guy, they would have signed him at Arsenal. I am shocked that they didn't even bother to move for him and they went on to go get uh Kai Havertz I, I said it's too shocking that Arsenal actually signed Sha Kai Havertz like I look at this Arsenal team as like you let uh Granny Shaka go and his replacement is Kai Havertz uh, thank god I didn't say what I wanted to say now but he felt like that he felt like that but let me not say it so that they don't say I'm making jest of people's mental health condition but it felt like that in my head in my head I know what I am saying but that's just how I felt, okay? Um, Darwin Nunes, what's the name of that Leicester midfielder? No, no. Why am I forgetting names like this? Uh, Yuri Tillemans, yes. I thought that Arsenal would sign Yuri Tillemans as a direct replacement for Granny Shaka. And then you bring in uh, uh, Declarice. I'm okay. I don't have a problem with Declarice signing. But I can say here that Declarice is not all that we say, he, that, you know, the English press is saying he is. Is it what that amount of money? I don't care. If they negotiate, if somebody say he wants to buy, if somebody comes to that, say they want to buy my, my, my this company from me. And I say, oh, the company is worth uh, $10 billion and he's willing to pay. It doesn't matter to me whether you think it's not worth it. The person is willing to pay. I I, I will sell for them. But if they say they, they don't want to buy too, I may, I might come down. So that's just the way it is. But I thought that your retailer was the best replacement for Granny Shaka. I might be wrong, but 
I think I know football enough to have a say in that. Having said that, let's move on to other story. Now, when the next came up, uh, to score two brilliantly taking lead goals and end 10 man Liverpool stunning 2 1 comeback win at Newcastle after Vinci Van Dyke was set up in disastrous first half. Okay, uh, for Newcastle, the seamary contest boiled down to a missed opportunity, but literally and metaphorically. Vinci Van Dyke could face further punishment after his red card against Newcastle after the Liverpool captain appeared to label John Brooks' decision a effing joke. That's some beat in. It's fucking joke. That's why I said it's not me. It's him. DJ Van Dyke, before the coaches, broadcast coaches, will come here and start saying things that you don't understand. Uh, DJ Van Dyke could face a further punishment for the football uh, from the Football Association after appearing to berate the referee's decision to send him off on Sunday. Now, I need you to have your opinion on this. You've seen the replay, and there's nobody who's not seen that. You've seen the replay. Is that a red card or not? For me, it's a red card. Every single day of the week and 10 times on the weekend. You don't like it? Back your face. Garnavi has claimed Trent Alexander Anna was lucky not to be shown a second yellow card during the opening stages of Liverpool's game against Newcastle. The English right back received the yellow card in the sixth minute of the match after he was shoved in the back by Anthony Gordon. Displeased by the challenge, Alexander Anna threw the ball away, receiving an immediate yellow card from the referee John Brooks. But that moment where everybody's saying he should have gotten a second yellow card. Uh, Anthony Gordon did not fall down. He went on the score. How do you give him a yellow card for a foul that was not even committed? Okay, he was holding him with yes, we set their hands on the shoulder. But Anthony Gordon is for he didn't stop the go band move, nothing. I don't think that there was any reason to do that. Hurricane continued his perfect start to life in the Bundesliga as Bayern Munich's record signing scored a brace on his home league debut. The England captain scored his first goal at the Alliance Arena from the penalty spot after Augsburg. Niklas Dutchies, uh was penalized for a handball. Kane clipped his penalty down the middle with Augsburg's goalkeeper Finn Diamond diving to his left. Again, the player just comes into a team and is given the penalty duty. That's how good you have to be, you know, and plus the money that they spent on him, then he can take anything. But then Kane did something, you know, within the week that was nice was given the option to pick from uh, the sponsored cars by Audi for him to pick. And he picked a lesser value car compared to the ones for all the players on the team. And that doesn't look really good. But I, I'm always saying this. So, have a choice. Like, okay, let's say Uten Dollar comes here and say, I'm giving you three checks, okay? One is $10 billion. One is $5 billion. One is $100 million. And I, I, and I can pick anyone. And then I say, oh, I want to be modest. I want him to... To respect me, to see me like I don't have no truth. Hello, I'm not picking a hundred million dollars. I'm picking a ten billion dollars. He decided to give me card black open check opportunity to pick. Um, I'm supposed to go for the best. There is nothing wrong in that one at all. If you say yeah, you want to show your modesty, you are Angolo Kante or you're Sadio Mane, that's why you are using phone that is the glass is broken. My brother, that's not your own. No. I cannot, uh, I cannot live a life where I'm spending all the money that I work for. To take care of other people and then me i don't take care of my i would still be at the, the very very tough i don't i don't care i mean i don't care what you say oh, that's not modesty that's not well i'm not humble anyway so let's never get into the humility conversation well let's push the conversation and keep going much united are set to complete the 4.3 million pound signing of Turkey international goalkeeper alte by India as cover for andrew nana as Dean anderson is set to join crystal palace manchester city have submitted and improve 52 million pounds offer to Wolves uh, for their Portuguese midfielder Matheus Nunes after seeing an initial offer for the 25 year old rejected. Let's hope that this one will be enough. The better chance they also might be going to Manchester City, but if it doesn't go to Barcelona, well, sorry, Crystal Palace will be very, very happy. Uh, they seem to have similar dresses. Barcelona prevailed in a seven goal thriller away at Villarreal with Robert Lewandowski scoring his first goal of the season to end them. The point, okay, it looked like it would be a comfortable afternoon when Gabby and Franklin de Young gave them a two-goal cushion just 15 minutes into the contest, only for Chuan or one fear Foyx and Alexander Solon to pull the scores level before the break. Alex Biena gave Villarreal the lead before Ferran Torres scored five minutes after coming off the bench, and then Lewandowski, you know, rest the matter on the bed 
for a good orgasm win. Yes, West Ham have reopened talks with Manchester United over a move for Harry Calamity Maguire, according to report. Do you really think that Maguire is a player? Or they're just trying to do it so that uh, an English defender gets a job where he plays regularly leading up to uh, the the Euros? Because I don't understand why West Ham are crazy about him. I, I, I don't see the obsession, but maybe you guys see something. I can't say I know it all on this one. There's something that they must be saying that I'm not saying. But if you are saying it, please tell me. My City are close to signing Wolves and Portugal midfielder Matos Nunes, as I told you earlier on. Atletico Madrid's uh, Portugal forward Charles Felix, 23, has been identified by Liverpool as a possible replacement for Egypt's Mohamed Salah should the 31-year-old uh, move to Saudi Arabia. I wanted to keep this for tomorrow, but uh, it's on the news today, so I have to say uh, I was waiting for Emmanuel Zabasin to come in. Abu Salah leaving, Jan Felis is the guy that... <laughs> it's like selling a, a, a Ferrari and buying a Totis car. Like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they say uh, your neighbor have security dog. They have a Rottweiler, Bull Masty, British Bulldog, and you went to buy 10 Totis. <laughs> That's your security. <laughs> That's exactly how it feels like. Letting Mosala go and Jaufelis is your replacement. Jaufelis. Hey. Okay. Okay. Mosquito bite can keep more than uh, the powers of uh, Jaufelis. Well, Manchester United target Marcos Alonso has made his decision on a potential transfer to Old Trafford from Barcelona with the Red Devils seeing the 32 year old Spaniard as a permanent. As a replacement, sorry, for the injured Luke Shaw. Alonso is on United shortlist. That also includes 25 year old Chelsea and Spain fullback Mark Cucurella. Okay, that Cucurella guy. I remember when they signed him <laughs> and they went on to go and bring uh, his coach. I was like, oh, this one's a year, year signing. Cucu Keke. They signed Cucu Keke. They were happy. So, get out of here. And they ended up in 12th position. Then I must put defender Sergio uh, Regula 26 is another name on. That list, but Fulham are, are ahead of Manchester United in the pursuit of the Spaniard. Let's see what happened with our Bayern Munich are looking and making a low move for Manchester United, Scotland midfielder Scott McTominay, 26, and German club could allow Netherlands midfielder Ryan Gavanbach, 21, to move in the opposite direction. Gavanbach, Scott McTominay. Uh, I don't know, is Scott McTominay really that good? I don't know. Maybe people correct me. Maybe I'm not seeing well anymore. Paris and Germain have made an offer worth 80 million euros at 69 million pounds for 24 year old entrance Frankfurt forward Randa Kolomwani. Hey, this player that I've been begging us not to sign. Okay. With fellow freshman Ugo Ekakite, 21, possibly moving in the opposite way for 20 million euros with 70 million pounds in a separate deal. Yes, Monaco is back in talks to sign. English defender Tosi Aderabioyo, 25, from Fulham. When somebody's name is Tosi Aderabioyo, and they say he's, a, he's an Englishman, I worry. Well, and the negotiations are on the way. Everton are in touch to sign on six year old Borussia Dortmund and Switzerland defender Nico Elvaldi. Okay, uh, Everton, you need defenders, so, but you still need a striker because you can't score goals to save your life. And as it is, anybody that is signing for Everton, Remember that you are most likely to go on relegation with them. So prepare your mind, prepare your soul. Your reward shall be in the championship. Okay, Roma have emerged as a leading contender to take Chelsea and Belgian striker Romelu Lukaku. Did I not say it here that uh, eventually it will be Jose Mourinho's time to redeem himself with Lukaku? You remember he was the one that rejected this guy some years ago. Okay, Chelsea are trying to agree a low fee of seven million with Roma for. Romelu Lukaku, why the Italian club are asking the player to take a pay cut of the same amount to make the move happen. If you like me not take a pay cut, you go play with under 12. You never said it. You're going to go play with them uh, small kosher for, for his college. That's how you play. Tottenham Osmore are set to launch a 50 million pounds move for Nottingham Forest and West Forward Brennan Johnson. Really? Okay. To replace Hurricane. I mean, uh, Nana, they have not realized that um, that boy with fry hair. What is his name again? Uh, that Brazilian boy, uh, he does not know how to score goal. He's, uh, he's miss, miss anything. Okay. Marco Verratti is on the verge 
of moving from Paris Saint-Germain to Al Arabi after the Saudi Arabia club agreed a fee with the French side for the 30-year-old Italy midfielder. Daniel Forrest is interested in Wolves goalkeeper Jose Sa, 30 as long term target in Anderson years he moved to Crystal Palace. Fulham are looking to sign Belgian fullback Timothy Castani, 27. I told you that already. Napoli will rival Manchester United for Fiorentina. Moroccan midfielder Sofia Amrabat. Oh, wow. Manchester United. I'm not delaying now. They want Jack on my game. Well, Richard is the name. That one. He is where people FPA anyhow. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Dante, for telling me that name. Let me come to you guys now. What are the behavior, the behavior, the attitude, the things that people bring? Okay, so uh, let me give you one very funny thing that happened sometime ago. I went to one office and the whole office was smelling Iru. They know what Iru is. Uh, is it that native man? Iru, child, that's that they used to cook food. And I can like, you know, me, I don't know how to hold things back. Like, and I, and I just said, this now is as an insurance company, okay? And I like, una they shop food too. I mean, I don't understand. Una they sell food, una do book on the side. Because I thought I was coming to an insurance company. It seems like I just made a mistake to come to uh, a restaurant to assist that they sell food. Look, we know. Obviously, in that place, uh, there's just a number of these, but you're supposed to have like a kitchen. Even in this studio, we have a kitchen. That's where you go and eat, right? If you want to eat all those food that have, you know, the aroma, let's, you sure, those food that have odor that you can hear, you can hear the odor, okay? Uh, it is better you lock the kitchen door. You eat, you wash the plates, like I always tell my crew, let it uh, let it go. And then there's air fresh now, you can fifty feet so that uh, the whole place smells well. Right? And people just entering and then they are, they are killing them. They are taking blood. Some of them are even fasting. Some of them are struggling with uh, one thing or the other. And you give them that kind of thing. It's not really, it's not really, you know, it's not really the best. So, and and and, and I, I and I was telling the said, boss now wow well, I don't know this place to book up. and the guy said no it's one of the one of the staff that that, that went to buy food and she was eating in front of her computer like she was eating in front of her computer I don't know <laughs> I don't know in this office so <laughs> there are snacks so you can eat snacks like biscuit or maybe toast bread all those kinds of, I can let it go I can't soup where they draw where they slime or bolo i mean i'm a lot they will do with say you rule and all the rest <laughs> man you, you get fired man. you go come out for my office man. because i like, say you don't learn office manners uh, so you are going to go learn some office etiquette <laughs> uh, especially when there is provision for place where maybe if then there's no kitchen in this place honestly i'll tell you if you don't want to go eat go to the book away for the buy the food or eat for your house before you come don't come and Please, uh, nigga, please don't come and do that thing to me. Michael Eleta say good. No, let me start from Instagram. I like to always start from Instagram because Instagram can, can be complicated sometimes. And somebody accuse you that the cause send person to your DM. Okay, so let me read this message that somebody sent me talking about the DM. Man. Wow. Don't go find this now. Hi, Adafi. Good morning. My name is Esther. I'd like to say thank you for what you do and uh, the hard effort you put into pushing the Nigerian League and all other content that you are pushing. It's great to see how much you love Nigeria and how much of a people person you are. I was one of the listeners in the conference, the weekend anger that you were a guest speaker on. Uh, my company, thank you very much for that. I've watched a lot of your videos since that, since Friday, and I think that I have a suggestion that could help as well. So, though you get between the average of 20 to 50 and sometimes 100 people, uh, for that, since everybody is spending that time, whether on Instagram or on YouTube, why not ask for one person to either submit their account number? or phone number for data and let this us the viewers contribute data or contribute money into that account you know just one person you could be randomly once a week or daily or once a month it depends on you it's just a suggestion not forcing it on you just something that i thought once again thank you for sharing your story and inspiring 
us. It was very, very nice to hear your story and uh, see the kind of mentality that you have. I've always looked at you as a very stubborn and crazy person from afar, but getting to know you closely was nice having you around. Thank you very much once again. My name is Esther. Okay, so I was I was a guest speaker at a company hangar last week. I don't want to mention the company, and it was fun. It was fun. So that's a suggestion. Those of you that have heard this thing that I've read, and probably those of you that watch this video or Instagram later, what do you think we should do about our suggestion? So there's no right or wrong answers to this. So nobody should go under somebody's response and insult or attack them. That's not allowed. The community that I'm building is a community of respect and people who are responsible. I, I rather have 20 people that are responsible than have a million people that go buck wide insulting each other. Anyhow, I don't want to. I don't want to have that. But thank you very much, Esther, for taking your time to do that. So for those of you, it is up to you. Okay, uh, Dante twenty three ten. It says, uh, "Amobi said the Liverpool cost continues. Shall I Amobi is a Newcastle great? I don't want to use the word legend. I don't know if they will agree." So Vicky says, "Everything is working in favor of Manchester United now. Hope EPA management have not chosen Manchester as the winner. <laughs> it's possible, but I still stand my ground. Manchester, Manchester City are not going to win the league. When it happens, we shock all of Nashville." Uh, Dante 23 test says, Aviki, it's normal to help uh, Manu like this. It won't last because they can't end point against the top four likes uh, this, okay? Uh, Saviki says, some of those guys are just displaying proud and arrogance. You come to someone's house and you can't dust your shoes on the footmat before walking into the city room. Ah, uh, I think touch that bros for for money. Yes, nineteen twenty three times says Aviki. This is normal to help. Okay, I don't know. You, you, I don't know whether you're repeating your your post. Uh, refs have been in my United pocket from the era of Fergie. These his personalities has been the problems. Uh, his many successors have been facing. I always tell whoever cares to listen that my United are in shit. So Aviki say, see the shit squad that Ferguson. Uh, used to win Manchester uh, last EPL in 2013. They just used the trophy to do send-off for him. So many uh, penalties for him that season. Okay. Now we're hearing it. That's it. 23 say, ladies doing makeup in uh, in the joint uh, convenience, leaving strands of hair in the basin. Damn, that can be very, it can be very, very disgusting and annoying. Like, I don't get it. And, and, and again, another thing that they do in the office, that people do in the office, listen, guys, now guys, they do this on us. Guys, you know, guys, when they say this on a penis, eh, on a pump passion, it not be even, it not be even revolver, a small carrot. So when you do, get close to it, don't do finish and then drop little drops on the seat. And then when you want to leave, you just flush probably and leave. Okay, that's crazy, you know. Because all that droplets when you drop for both for grand and the edge of the seat, who you leave her for? That's another very disgusting thing. As much as women leaving their hair in the sink and just leaving it there. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's another very, very disgusting one. What can I get sense, women? What can I, some of them are going to get sense. Eh? You know, you carry 300 and 30,000 hair uh, uh, for your head. But well, sense, sense, your sense are 50 couple cents. One of the guest sense, men too. One of the try. You don't have a pop passion there. You have a small carrot, a very small carrot. And I want to see woman in the stand, your country from maybe small carrot to maybe even cucumber, so you know, cucumber, just something there, sharp. So please, uh, like sausage, you can't talk sausage from carrot to sausage. Work on the, the piece, the, 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 the do well. Eh? Stop putting all these bad habits, carrot everywhere. And those of them, when I go toilet, what I don't do, when I just manage use anything clean on a on a yash, when I come come out, who na keep on that way go come flush the shit. You know, fit us say, oh no, I beg go. I use I go. Uh, what I don't do, I beg. Now use bucket go collect water from anywhere. Make a make a flush up, or even come cleaner for your office. Make a fresh tank. You but now you go flush up. Then they bring a come give you. You go stand there, wait. They bring the water. You flush up. You just walk out. Come on, just sneak. CCTV no there. Just sneak. Come on. I do when I change my habit to stop him. Um, you know, good. A very bad attitude with that. Uh, Saviki said, Manchester United are just desperately 
to offload, desperate to offload Maguire. Now you not go desperate, you want to put calamity for your team. Uh, he said, referees will have there forever. 69 Lemar, glad to see the changes Anobi is bringing to Rangers. I did tell you, I'm loving what the man is doing. Uh, he's, he's doing, he's doing well. I just hope that the government will give him the support that I need because uh, changes are good, ideas are great, but they need money to fly. Okay, uh, Jerry, say, what did you think about Nigerian team's elimination from CAF Champions League? They're not sabi. Uh, that's what I think. Across the bar, say, I beg you, who saw Messi's go two days ago? I saw it. Uh, the, the first of that bicycle kick that that guy gave that became a pass, and I controlled it. And then when put the ball for where nobody did, nobody was there. Play the ball, the guy ran the ball. I mean, Messi have done that many times anyway. Messi have done that, that pass. But what was beautiful was after he made the pass, some of the players would just start thinking the guy would shoot the ball. But he ran in, got the ball, just tap it into the net. It's beautiful. But I mean, is there anything Messi would do again that would really surprise anybody? Messi's been doing all these things since forever. Now. Somebody's called 91 goes one calendar year, and that he, he get with it one do again. Somebody kill lion, kill elephants, kill eagle, wave with the fly for air. You can't tell me say catch fish. So make a dear side. No, no, that's not a big deal. Okay, on YouTube. Michael Letta says, good morning, boss. Good morning to you, too. He said, I'm happy for Darwin Nunes. He has always had his critics, but he came in when he was needed as for Newcastle. That is a real a reality check for them, so they don't get carried away. I agree with you on that front. They shouldn't get carried away because sometimes they're feeling like, oh, they're already big boys. They're not there. You're not just there. You've not won anything. Yeah, you have money over the long period of time, you would win. I mean, in the next five seasons, Newcastle will win the Premier League, that's for sure. But for now, they should humble themselves and work very, very hard. Not in the in the context of Nigerians using the way Nigeria use on but they should work very hard and realize that they still need to sign some more quality. Yeah, Tonelli is good, Isaac is good, but they need grits, okay? And then they need to push it very well. And, and does have anybody noticed Bernardo Silva, the way he looks like somebody that is sick? Um, and I'm saying this because this is how we're watching uh Shalik Bosman and we just thought that this is him this is maybe he dropped weights to play the role of uh this one T'Challa and the rest of them and one day we woke up and they say he's dead and and, and, and it's you know strange but I don't see if that does look like something is not right something is not giving okay something is not something in at all but anyhow Sha, let's keep watching if he's going through anything we hope that uh he'll be able to fight it and uh, go through it Aaron Morrison good morning to the sports buffet family at money which today is uh tuesday anyway my coach use him hand through with two points on saturday will make attempt and give himself brain or oh, before it will be the most hated one he's getting close to that uh i see him he doesn't do like say to sabi that's going to be a problem eventually for him uh this experiment this team was playing well last season right now this thing is shit. Uh, that thing was really that Newcastle failed to kill off the game. They ended up paying dearly for it. Yeah, that's the way it works. Uh, it's football. You're looking at my of Ross, uh, still old Newcastle, nothing new about them. And then he went on to say, aside this defeat, I already ruled them out of the top four. I guess that's what he wanted to say. Michael Elect, I said, the yellow card rule is becoming ridiculous. On and I kept the ball, because uh, there were two balls on the pitch. It was shown a card for time wasting. Uh, to me, uh, Rashford was fouled and the penalty deserved. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. You work real. Is it Patrick? You say good morning, boss. Good morning to you. What a weekend. A.E. by Remus has disappointed us all. Uh, Amas Obasuji showed why he is a leader. Okay, okay, leader, 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 leader. Is it Patrick? You say that with the next. Long may it continue. Nine touches and two goals. Uh, when we win now, that is, I mean, count on the statistics like Russia so much. When we lose now, I forget on this one. A dish alarm for my celebrator. Good morning, family. Our club don't fail to disappoint. Now, our own, oh, no, we can't throw them away. I agree, but they really messed up big time. Okay, at least Ben Elisharas did well. I agree with you. I did the Giabiona say you're telling us yes, I was trying to revise the name, but finally. Got to remember his name. Tosi Iluyo Made. Sports are going to miss Hurricane so much. They don't look like they're missing him anyway because uh, 
They play very well, but they are a shitty club anyway. Whatever they play, where they play, where they say it can be shit. No matter how shit's fine, it's shit, not shit, it's this way. So that's who they are. I don't care whether they play well. Well, on Instagram, somebody drop a message there. Uh, Dante23 says, pulling off shoes from a smelly feet too is disgusting for me. That one I don't understand. So there are a lot of things to take care of it. Some people have sweaty, sweaty feet, right? And if you have sweaty feet, rule number one, don't wear thick stockings. Wear a retail stockings. And people don't know that. Wear a retail stockings. Don't always wear cover shoe. And if you do, if you do. So there's, there are, I mean, Oriflame and all these people sell all, some of these things that you can spray inside a shoe that contain that for a while. That would, you know, uh, hold you dry. I keep you. But if you know, you don't know, say your shoe is smell. Don't come and come to people's house. Pull your shoe and I put your leg on top of people's table. What did they worry you? Eh? What did they worry you? They, they say you may you can't use a atomic bomb keep people. Eh? Your cyanide within your leg. You want to kill us? I beg, I beg. And then if you have smelly feet, let to the bath forward. Let them put your leg in uh, soapy water, scented soapy water at home. Some people don't just get time for themselves. They get time for everything, gossip, social media. All the things, but they don't get time for themselves. Take care of yourself small. Some things are just, you know, fixable. Put your leg, cut line, line, mess. Like this one will be money, you know, they're expensive. You don't need to go shop, go back. Cut line, put them inside warm water, put salt. Just put your leg and soap. Just put your leg there for some time and then you scrub it. Scrub, all those scrub, that easy scrub. You don't need to go really go pay uh, 15000 or 10000 depending on the area where you stay for pedicure. I'm not saying don't do pedicure, but I'm just saying. I mean, I never do pedicure once. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think I would ever do pedicure. For I don't understand to scrub my leg. I get time. Oh. I put my leg in the water, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. I don't even need my wife to do it for me. That's like overstretching it. I would do it myself. So don't do some things that I don't come and spoon bomb for people. Especially you go visit somebody's house. You won't go watch football for person house. You won't go there and go open your leg. Put your leg up and it's smelly. And all those people when they wear tear tear stockings, I beg. Eh? If they give one a vibe, is there a vibe to it? Eh? Tear tear stock is not tear true one. Stock is don't get out there, bala blue the economy. Stock is not gonna fit there. Eh? Rich way you don't fit by You never bad rich so. Stock is be like Jebugari. Everybody wants to fit by eh? If you don't fit self, eh? reach out to us so you don't get stockings. We'll go buy stockings for you. And the elevated TV family will contribute money. If all of us are doing one thousand, you go buy stockings. That will not be a problem. We never, we never broke prison. We will be able to take. I'll be going to people's house and be showing stockings with, like, say, rat shop your leg. What did they worry you? Are you so far past? Now, now, what are they that shit money? They, 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 they misbehave. They, 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 they misbehave. Uh, and they misbehave. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if I can say Colombiani for better. You don't say why the Christ is not a sign and they're not great sign. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Michael Elita say, aside Bournemouth, United won the least penalty in the league last season. Also, last week, there was a clear handball they were not given against Tottenham, even though similar was given to City. Yeah, that's why you're my United fan. You go give us all this analysis. But in the whole history of the Premiership, Manchester United also is the only club where they play short, score goal. Go keep a camera come outside. They say not be good. Tottenham Hotspur versus Man United. Uh, and Manchester United have scored a goal from outside of the line. The referee can't have. See, if we, if we want to count, if we want major statistics against statistics, you know go there. Uh, Man United have been the one that have benefited from dubious officiating the most in the history of the Premier League from 1992 up until now. So let's not even go there. 31 years of the Premier League, Manchester United have benefited the most from dubious officiating. So let's just kill that matter. But Mio, the 13 titles are silent. We got say one, nine were given by reference. And I don't care what anybody say about it. Nine were dubious ones. Only four. And uh, they, they, they won those four. It's like you can't argue against them. It doesn't mean that they are not a good team, but they're just something that's not right. Or do you remember like I say we go pay 65 million for we go pay 65 million for Harvard Ateta? You better wake up. Oh. Or do you remember like I say Nottingham Forest now Chelsea uh Todd Bolly low budget? I don't understand what that means anyway. Shorty Park, where I say Iru is called Locust Beans. Uh -huh, Locust Beans, that's the name. I, I know the name, but I just got off my head. 
Uh, additional I must say, nice suggestions. These um, techos, they do magic for data these days. I will tell you, my own, a couple, I say 10, 10 gigabytes for my phone. Now, two days, it work. Now, once two days, I'll say, they'll show you one hour earlier, I'll say 6,000, whatever megabytes. The next one, I'll show you 2,000. Next one, I'll tell you, uh, you have run out of data. <laughs> I just, I didn't look at the laugh. Very soon, they're not going to answer the bill. Very soon, that nobody will send them again. Other things good, they will take the place. Uh, current day Timothy says, uh, Morning, boss, morning to you. Do you think Yer Yamin, or who's that? The Barcelona young, oh, young lad will not end up like Ansu Fati, or what do you think about him? So, uh, football is like salvation, it's a personal risk. It's hard for two people to end up the same way. There's talent, but there's just this thing that makes talent work. You need to be willing to put in the shift, the hard work. That's why most times when people say, uh, when they have this Messi Ronaldo argument, there's one side of the conversation that is always wrong. They say, oh, Messi is naturally gifted, and Cristiano Ronaldo had to work for his, his, his thing, which is a lie. It's a very big lie. And, and it's the same thing with Yamin and, you know, and and the rest. Azofati has had to suffer with injuries. We would have to hands up about that. But I don't think Azofati is half as good as people try to make him look. And, you know, sometimes the hype is like drug. It's worse than oxycodone or cocaine hype. It's worse than anything. It is hype that got Lucifer to where he got to. It is hype that uh, they deny God that, that caused hellfire. <laughs> They say they not give God the. They say they give God the hype when you don't need hype is praise, right? To say they give God the hype when you need a fire for nothing, Lucifer for not all devil. How Lucifer take go from bright and money star? He's the only person that he transformed in name without any name ceremony shall for Bible. Okay, but hey, it is what it is. He went from bright and money star, white angel to black. Oh, man, the people give us this. If I think of this religion, eh, and I, this is money. Let's not spoil it. You know, something is not your right. When he good. Is white when it bad is black. Something is not right with this religion. They're just something, something all right. And then if I did think, say the people will give us this religion, the people will give us religion now they bring slavery, now then they may force homosexuality on all on us. In the Bible, you tell me the trauma, you may tell me the trauma. But uh, I know religious people with the two religions will come talk. So the thing about it is, I don't think it will go the answer fatty way, but let's not, let's not look like what Jesus is bewitching him. If he's willing to put in the shift, the hard work, the commitment, dedication, football, first of the engine, the fuel that fuels any football career is fitness. If you can stay fit, and a lot of things happens. You know, again, this is how you and Krupp define the game of football. And the best expression of that definition is in uh, uh, Dimitri Babatov. He said, football is a game of the brain interpreted by the feet. It has nothing to do with power. It has nothing to do with speed. It's just having the right brain. And the best expression of that is somebody like Dimitri Ababaton or Andre Pello. These guys are Junior Panamucano. These guys don't really require speed. It's not like speed is not good or power, but they just know how to play the game. Ababaton could just practically go... 10 hours of playing football, you don't go sweat, you just see no go stain, you don't go get contact with you, you go still making part. As slow as people say it is, it's got 30 goals to win the golden boot in the Premier League one time. So uh, for him, if he knows the right thing to do and he stays well, especially in this era now where the thing about football today is that you are shown there's a blueprint. Before, there's no blueprint. You just have to come fit. Now you're told that if you eat like this, you can play into your 40s. If you behave like this, if you train like this, you can, your output can be like this. And you see it in a computer, okay? So I think football is a bit made easy. Uh, back, to, back in those days, those people learned typewriting. There's a book. There's a manual called Typewriting Made Easy. So there's a manual to football right now. If you can follow it and doesn't get the high, you know, get carried away with the money, the fame, the private jet, the bling blings and all that, I think it would get there. But it takes a whole lot of work. It takes, a, it takes a, a whole lot from being mentally ready to physically ready as well. Yoro Kiri, Emmanuel Sebros, waiting be your take on Galaga so far this season. So I, I, the first game they played was against Liverpool. I was excited about him. Then the last two games, I mean, they played against Luton this weekend. Um, if you don't beat Luton, you just have no business being in the Premier League. 
I think they are still struggling to find their respective positions on the field. Look at uh, Nicholas Jackson. The one time he stood still, he scored a goal. And in every game that they've played, one person has stood at. The first game against Liverpool, it was uh, the guy at number eight. What's his name? Uh, Enzo. It was Enzo Fernand that was, that, he was the guy. And the second game, the one that they lost, almost everybody was just not really there, but you could give credit to Thiago Silva. The game against Luton Town, like him or uh, hate him, all of the credit goes to Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling was unplayable. He was in that Leroy Sunny, you know, that Iron Robin ish mode where he could do anything. He scored two assists to one. He was just a ton in that flesh. So we'll still not find the proper reading to measure or judge anybody. But I mean, by the time we get to game 10, we'll be able to say, okay, this guy, you know, there's consistency to his game. There is a science to his madness. There's a science to his play and all that. You can say, but the science. I mean, every game I rate him, you know, over five, above five, and it's something above five. So I, I think it's coming, but it doesn't have. Okay, so Galaga is supposed to be the fabric guys of this team. It's supposed to be the Bala or the Deku of this team. It doesn't have the spread of pass, the decision making. Something now that I'm, I'm beginning to realize that is missing with Martin Odega. You know, the, the, so this is what I was taught in football, especially when you play in midfield. A midfielder is a game reader and a compass. So he's, a, he's the leader of the orchestra. He moves his frog and the sound changes. So you're supposed to be able to detect the tempo of the game. You're supposed to know when the ball is supposed to go to the right and the ball is supposed to go to the, the left. You are the the the, the fresher in, 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 the, in, the, in the car that keeps the balance. So if, for instance, let's say engineering now, if a car is going into the bend, you are the one that will decide to lock the inner tires and let the outer tire roll so that the car does not suffer. So, but Gallagher have not really found his reading. Maybe he's playing a role that is too big for him now because he doesn't know when to shoot, when to pass. Sometimes he struggle, but that doesn't make him bad. It's just that uh, they're playing under a new coach. They have a bunch of new set of players. Uh, you know, Chelsea is not Travis Scott's team. Everybody, you have to look like Travis Scott to play. So sometimes too many players are looking like they are the same. Uh, it would have to take some time. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt that this Chelsea team needs some time to get into their element. After that, we'll be able to discuss it. It's too early. Yeah, it's too early to judge any player from Chelsea. Like I keep saying, Chelsea is still not in the place to banter them. They are still, you know, you can still be quiet and be patient with them. With time, we will see. And this allow for us says. Uh, uh car so carrot so sausage oh, oh okay my description i true man we will come up peace peace for granted yeah i don't know who they would say who they would say we clean that piece but uh, michael and i said one annoying habit some do is listening to news on the radio and playing on speaker ah this is common with the older folks it could be infuriating cause of the noise man uh that thing pisses me off completely it's like playing your phone on that speaker in the airplane airplane man, what's the problem what's your problem this is oh jesus especially this international flight and when you enter play with those my brothers from the east when they like like if the group of them especially when they are coming from singapore malaysia thailand china and the rest and then they are all south africa Oh, damn, that's the most annoying flight for you. Okay, guys, drink your alcohol and be nice. Tune down your noise. No, you don't pay that. Once they use that, their card, take pay uh, for internet be making noise or put that. Yeah. I don't know, Sha. Let's just keep it going. Uh, Currently, what want to say is in the, the movement to Nottingham Forest, a good move if it eventually happens, seeing that there are three Nigerians in the team already. Listen, I've always said that I don't like having many Nigerians in the team. That's a recipe for them to go, rele go on relegation. They bring it to that team, Nottingham Forest will go on relegation. I, I don't care what anybody says, people. I, I'm not hating on it, but if they bring it to that team, they will go on relegation. I pray it doesn't work. You should go to another club. You should go to another team. Is it good enough to play the Premier League? Yes, but having, it's never worked. Having too many Nigerians 
Once you get past number two, <laughs> that team is about to go down. It's about to go down. And I don't want that. You know, back-to-back -back relegation will not be good for them. And then Taiwan Wani is somebody that I really, 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 really love. And I don't want him to go down. Please, the good friend, they don't go there. Please. I'm not saying you're a bad player, but I just, the guy, anywhere two or three, three, two or three Nigerians are gathered in football, relegation is guaranteed. Uh, people might get angry with this one, but it's the fact. Okay. Uh, uh, what's it called? Your okay, man. I said Newcastle need to sign some big boys. Yes, they need experience and some people who can intimidate the opposition as well. Yesterday, I mean, they had that game. It could have devolved Liverpool, but there was fear. You could tell that they were afraid of Liverpool. They were surprised that they were leading Liverpool. They were in shock that they could play, and they were playing at home. That's a funny thing. Time side? Are you are you crazy? First time I beat. Oh God! I feel like going back to coaching. That's just this part of me. Did you see when Sheffield United had the audacity to equalize against Man City? Did you see? Did you see the 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 body language of the City player? The mind, the the look in their face, like eh? how dare you? How how dare you equalize and even try to score a winning goal? Your father, like you could see it. In their body language, in their reaction, Fonde was like somebody that was possessed. Uh, Rodri said, ah, no, 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 I'm not sitting back again. Let's go for it and get this thing. And they got the win. That's what championship winning sides are made of. Arsenal, they were one man down. They, 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 they play like idiots. Opposition was one man down. Play like idiots. Because uh, the coach, they do. Newcastle, your opponent is one man down. This is your greatest chance to make a statement. Beat Liverpool silly. Greatest chances were sitting in Bayern here. Hey, yeah. But you could tell that they were afraid. They were not sure. Like, in their head, like, wait, I will really beat Liverpool. I will really leave it. He? Is this Liverpool? Ah, come on. Take your chances and do what you're supposed to do. But well, it is what it is, okay? Uh, Igor Hobart says, uh, good day, boss. Good day. Consigning uh, Pesero, Eagles coach, can he really handle this crop of super Eagles? Uh, Victor Boniface is really holding his own in Germany. Thumbs up to him. Uh, the, the question is, the question really is, and this crop of super is really good. It's not about Pesero. I, I, I said it, and I even said it to Gusso. Listen, there's no coach that can turn this super Eagles to a championship winning team right now. We don't have a team. We just have maybe two, three players that are doing with Tawa Wani, Victor Sime, now Boniface, who's not, who's not integrated into the team. It might come in and not fit in. I'm so that I'll say, Paul Onwach, you let him come, he will score a thousand goals. Where is he now? Okay, so uh, form is temporary class is permanent. That's what they say in this my industry, and I'll repeat it. We don't have a team. And Nigeria have been producing forward-minded players, but we don't have midfielders and we don't have defenders. Look at all the teams that have done well in world football, in any type of football. The midfield and the defense are always solid. Eventually, you'll get the attack, right? But you fix those two parts, defense and midfield, and then you have a good goalkeeper, then you're ready to go. Unfortunately, we don't have none of those, none of those three departments sorted out. This is the first time in the history of Nigeria that our goalkeeper, nobody is confident of who the goalkeeper is. It doesn't matter what club is playing. Nobody is confident of any of the goalkeeper. Nobody is confident of the entire back line. Yes, I saw Ola, you know, and uh, Kevin Bassi, even though he picked up the red card, have a good game. Kevin Bassi actually shot at, uh, what's it called? Bukayo Saka, another guy for a very long time. And, you know, one of those things that just happens in football. But at the end of the day, Nigeria defensively, zero. In midfield, zero. Uh, if you like, no money face, the bond face for that side. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't change anything. Uh, where did I stop? You know, Kenny Manu said, I noticed Silva yesterday for City match. When he off his shirt, uh, he can't resemble those uh, Google guys for generator. I hope he did I, I just think that something is wrong. It's not really... I don't know. It's not really looking good. But at that level of football, you should there should be some freshness. It's looking like somebody who's suffering, who's going through some kind of pain. I just so that maybe I'm wrong. Well, there's a Patrick say good weekend for some Niger players across uh, the globe. I was really rooting for Remo Stars because of all the progress and investment over the years. Well, they, they are learning. They like their experience and they got knocked out. Emmanuel Obayoji say, good morning, boss. We now have Boniface and uh, Teller in Lemakusin. Super Eagles players are really doing well, just the coach. That, the coach is not a problem. I don't know why you people keep saying just the coach. This is how you people say Gonatra was a problem. Eventually, Una realized it's not even the problem. Okay. 
Well, people keep saying this thing, and I'm not going to agree with you. Uh, is the Patrick say Emmanuel Obayaji waiting? Uh, do the okay, good, good question. Uh, additional of says some people don't know, say that they smell. Uh, that's the unfortunate reality. Just get basic hygiene, really. Uh, okay, but I think that people are supposed to know that they smell. Again, another thing that some people do, I don't know if you notice it, the, the Yakilo Abbey, they'll show their hand inside their pants, scratch their hands, or come carry on their nose. What the hell is <laughs> Did you swallow perf perfume? Were you expecting that you put your hand inside there and put that on your nose? It goes smell, perfume. I don't understand. Like some, some have it. <laughs> some have it. Ah, uh, I don't understand. Emmanuel Obayo just said, Elevator One, please. Is it true that the Super Eagles are not going to be handled by interim coaches led by Gregor for the September qualifiers. Well, that's a rumor. Oh, God. <laughs> that's a rumor that I've heard. But... <laughs> Officially, Persero's contract has expired. And there's no renew renewal in sight. What do you expect? That's basically what is going to happen. And the, the, the problem is we're just going back in the same circle. This is the circle that happened when Ganatro left. Again, remember we've already qualified for the Nations Cup, so the, the game against Atome is not really, oh, a do or that affair. It's probably a glorified friendly match, but I, I just pity us. That's what I, I can say. You're looking at say, in the, the move to Forest, no bad because my upgrade from the championship, but my problem with this move is say, anywhere Nigeria players gather, there is relegation, okay. So repeating my my talk, additional for my say twenty gigabyte na two days. Who imagine that? Emmanuel Abaya just say wait to boss. Why did Liverpool not buy in the deserve since they need a DM? Uh, I think you should ask Liverpool because I'm not in the Liverpool board. And uh, the question you now have to answer yourself is: Is there really a need for them? Is that the kind of player they need? Does he play in the Liverpool way? Does it fit into the way they play? Okay, that's another thing you should also look at. You're okay, man. I say, bros, some people eh, could they smell Bobozi <laughs> with confidence. We can Sosorobia. <laughs> My brother is a terrible you, man. You're just, you're just me like your mother. You're not me like eh, my mom. See, I just say it like just, sometimes God is just in there. You're okay, man. I say 10 gigabytes. I don't almost finish. How it happened, I don't know. Me self, I'm surprised. Like, I don't kind of use, and I use up to fifty to sixty or seventy-five uh, gigabytes per month. What is that on my phone? No, that's like, see, if you if you if you come to my house, you understand how we use internet. So there's one terabyte here, there's one terabyte in that studio. The dance, the house, my house, my my TV alone, one terabyte. My children's gadget, another one terabyte. My phone. God, the. Fiber optics do reach your bag. Moko decide where we will stand on this one. The okay, my second lag the over one impressed, but uh, it did work. It, it did work rate. It work rate did very high. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. But everybody will want to impress because a new team. You don't want anybody to take your place, especially with some injured players. Who could go soon come now? Some people position could be threatened. So you want to establish yourself pretty early. Demola Ibrahim, I better say if I thought I use this confused tactics against United, then go shop beating eh? And Herbert says in the day, it's painful that he really dropped form because by now he should have been getting better club uh, come knocking on his door. Even when the form they have, how many people knock on the door? They will have you not get better agent. Only if the Super Eagles players can put 100% when they are playing for the national team. This coach, eh, nah, no good, they come up. Okay, that's true. This coach matter, not going to come up. And that's true. Again, most of us are judging the Super Eagles players based on their club form. The question is, when they play for the national team, do you see them exhibit those form? No. Those characters, no. So sometimes it's hard. I, I don't rate the survivors players because I think that these guys don't care about the national team. And that's just the truth. It's hard to take, to say, and especially when most of them are my friends, but it's just the truth. And they, I, I mean, Nigeria is always going to come higher than any friendship that I have with anybody. Uh, Saviki so Maran said, Nicholas Jackson needs to position inside the boss like Haaland. Not to be running up and down. It's trying to impress. It's trying. It's not easy. It's trying to impress. But I think, uh, uh, you know, when you're in a new team and the group of new players, it's hard to really, 
it's hard to really fit in. Having said that, I think we've come to the end of the show today. Extended version as usual, and we've done very well. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, since you guys didn't discuss uh, the suggestion that was made, so I take it wholeheartedly that you guys are not interested in it. So let's let it slide. So thank you very much for suggesting what well, it is, what it is. You guys are not interested in it. Let's move on. Yeah, once again, please do want to subscribe to the channel. I don't understand why we have like 20 people viewing and you have only nine likes. I don't understand. Like, you guys really hate the, the, the show that much. Please do well to like the show and support us, help us to grow. And uh, the, the around the MPFL that we keep putting out every Friday, please, when you view it, drop a comment. It doesn't cost much. It doesn't take extra data to comment on it. And those people who keep coming to ask me, how much do you pay to subscribe to the YouTube channel? I'm free. I'm free. Uh, they didn't pay money. Uh, thank you very much for all of the uh, last-minute likes. Uh, thank you very much, and God bless you for all you do. And uh, like I always say, I like to say, be the very best of who God created you to be. If you can't be the solution, please don't be the problem. And if you are not solving the problem, don't stand in the way of the people that are solving the problem. It's very, very important. The solution sometimes that one person creates it's not always for the person. It's for a lot of people. And standing in the way, uh, one of the things that have made us not to develop very well is they want to do road past your village. It will help everybody for your village. It will bring value. It will bring uh, progress. You go and stand on the road and say, may they pay you deve. May they pay you deve. Fit be the reason why they don't go do that road. When they don't do that road, development don't go come. So all of them are going to lose. That's how... You not being the solution, but you are still standing in the way of the solution. Please don't be that. You and the people with the thief palliative, they go in and be the same. You and the people with the thief uh, national resources, they go put for foreign back. You are the same. You are stopping the progress. The road that people will drive and take 10 minutes to drive and go to where they are going. You are standing in the way and making it hard for people to progress. Don't be that person, okay? Always be the one who support progress and uh, success in your community. God bless you. I have yourself a wonderful day. My name once again is Udafi Machu. So you love to come together with Thomas Mons. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please do want to subscribe and download the mobile application on your Android or iOS device. It is Elevator TV Radio. God bless you and have for yourself a wonderful, wonderful start to a wonderful working week. Bye-bye. <laughs>